Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am here today with another thrift haul. Well, it's actually not a thrift haul. It's actually items that I purchased online doing a little bit of pre-owned online arbitrage. If you're new to my channel, I like to go to thrift stores or sometimes go online and purchase items for cheap, typically pre-owned items and flip them on sites like eBay and Poshmark. I'm all the time making videos about how to sell online, so if you're interested in that kind of content and you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell. That way you guys get notified when new videos go live. So some of these are thrifted and some of them, most of them I would say I purchased online to resell. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys those today. Let's jump into the haul. So this one was a thrifted item. This is a leather jacket. So this um, liner is being washed. I took out the zip liner to wash it. However, the brand is Wilson's Adventure Brown Leather, um, which is on that zip liner. But I wanted to show you this jacket while that was getting washed. So it's just a zip bomber jacket. And you might be thinking, why did you pick this up? Because the leather looks super worn. But I mentioned this in a couple other videos and distressed leather jackets are super in, particularly when the entire leather jacket is faded or worn without there being any holes. So this one I thought faded really, really nicely. I will put words like distressed leather, probably hobo in the title. Hobo chic is a really popular trend right now, maybe even grunge, and probably even two I could put Western since it's a Western kind of looking leather jacket. Oh, how to put that back on the hanger because it was getting heavy. But you guys want to look for distressed leather jackets like that. They are doing extremely, extremely well. Obviously, as we move into spring, um, you'll want to decrease the amount that you're picking up. But during a colder winter and even fall months, I really love picking up leather jackets. Um, they're leather, so they tend to sell for more because of the material. But when you are on trend with the distressed leather look, that also adds value. And do your comps look up distressed leather jackets? Just do a quick search and see what some of them are going for because I think you guys would be extremely surprised. One thing I look for when picking up those kind of jackets is that they don't have any actual holes. They're distressed leather, but no actual holes, tears, or, or lacerations. Some other items that I thrifted is this Under Armour bra. I really like selling... Um, Brawls of all kinds, but athletic brawls right now are really popular because we are moving into spring. So not just clothing athletic wear, but brawls too. This is a really nice kind of crisscross back Under Armour bra. Um, I'll probably sell this for about $20. This is also an athletic bra and this is by Nike. It's got these cute little floral daisies, kind of like a uh, racer back strappy bra. I think I need to look up the particular style to this, but Nike bras also do really well. So I'll hope to get probably between 20 and 25 for this. This is another thrifted item and this is by the brand Fossil. And I need to touch it up with a little bit of leather cleaner because as you can see, there are a couple of marks, but this is just a pretty classic, nice leather Fossil bag. Fossil, um, the sell-through rate is not super great, but when it's real leather, I find that that adds a ton of value and I have some pretty good luck with it. This is a braided like handle. I'll probably put um, Western in the title just cause it's got kind of a Western vibe to it. And I think that that should help to sell it. And again, I'm gonna touch that up with a little bit of leather cleaner. And then the last thrifted piece of today's haul that I got from an actual like in-store thrift store is this bag. So this bag is, well, backpack is by L.L. Bean. It is kind of like a mini backpack. It's not too small, not too big, kind of a medium size, but super vintage-y, got corduroy and dog embroidery all over it. Really great condition. I thought this was super cool. And in the past, I have sold L.L. Bean bags, vintage ones, for really great money. Um, I have not done a bunch of comps on this, but I'm thinking probably between 40 and $50 for this bag. Okay, moving on into some online pickups. I was really careful about what I picked up online because typically you are paying 
up a little bit more if you're doing online arbitrage, whether that's new items or even pre-owned, because people selling the items online are charging a premium for them. So with that in mind, I try to be really careful about what I pick up. This is a Lululemon bra, and it's actually Nuba Tags, and this is called the Inlet Bra, Inlight Bra. And this retailed for $98. One of the main reasons that I picked it up was because it was a 38 double D, which is a great size. I find the larger sizes in brawls the better, but this was a really cool, um, it's like a very bright cobalt blue. Another brand of brawls that is doing really well right now and sticking along with that athletic wear theme. Next is by Free People. This is a size extra small. However, I think this could probably fit up to a medium. You guys know how I feel about free people. It's all super oversized, so most of it fits up to a couple sizes larger than normal, which actually helps me to sell it better. So this is a mock neck top, sweater-like material. And the main reason I picked it up were for the contrast sleeves. They have little cutouts too, which I thought were really cute very bohemian, really on trend. Anything free people with contrast cuffs always does really well for me. Um, I have not looked up the style name to figure out this exact cuff because when I was purchasing this online, it did not have the style number readily, readily available for me to see. However, I will look up the style number, but I'm thinking that this might be a more unique one that might be able to yield a higher profit. This is not a brand I typically pick up in tops. It's True Religion. I usually pick up their jeans. This is a women's size medium, but I came across this and I thought it was a really nice crop sweatshirt. Really like the lace up details. This is like super grungy goth I'll probably put in the title but I really, really loved this crop sweatshirt. Have not done comps on this, strictly picked it up for style. True Religion is a um, brand that retails for a lot, but does not always resell for a lot, so you really need to get good key pieces, but I could not pass up the style, and I'll probably wear this a couple times before I sell it. Got another Free People item. This one is a size medium, and this is also new with tags, but it is a really gorgeous dress. Um, this does not have the style name on here, but I do have the style number, so I'll be able to look that up. Again, I was not able to see the style number when I was purchasing the item, so I really had to go off of style and more substantial pieces. So this is like a maxi dress with pretty ombre details. Again, super bohemian and on trend. So the sides of this split, so I guess instead of this being a dress, it's more like a cover up or a maxi top. I'll still probably put dress in the title and just disclose the side slits. And I'll also look up that style name and see um, what Free People was calling it. But I think this should do really well. It retailed for $148. This next one I was able to find pretty similar comps for. This is Free People Beach, which is a line off of Free People. This is a women's size small, and this is a kind of like smocked bib overall jumpsuit. Super wide leg pant. I can't remember what this style was called, but I do know that I found it. Um, and I believe these were going for about $40 to $50. Another Free People item. This one is a size large, and I was able to find this style as well. Again, I can't remember the style name, but I was able to look up um, white lace dress uh, with square neck and able to find this pretty quickly, and they were doing really well. So this is just a short um, mini dress, long sleeve square neck with a little bit of velvet detail. I mentioned in that spring trends video, but um, white colors, very light, uh, flowy things were going to do really well. So that's one of the main reasons I picked this up. The retail price on this is torn off, but it is new attacks. This is a piece by Zara Woman, 
which is a line off of Zara. And the Zara Woman, from what I can tell, is a higher line of Zara. So if you come across Zara Woman, I consider picking that up um, more often than I would just like Zara Basic or Zara Trafalook, whatever um, those other lines are. Zara Woman is one of the better ones. And this is like a kimono cardigan kind of thing. Belted. It's got these really interesting like fringe details along the trim and the trim of the sleeve. I thought this was fun. I will definitely look up the style number on the inside of this to see exactly how much I can sell this for. Um, but I think this should do well and it is a women's size large, which is a larger size in Zara. Um, but I think that based on style, this should do really well. This is another Zara piece. This is no line, it's just Zara. This is also new with tags, retails for $49.90. This is a women's size small. And I did look up um, kind of, I think this is called like a plaid overall dress. I thought this was really cute. Um, obviously you don't wear this by your by itself. You wear like a, uh, a long sleeve turtleneck underneath would be really cute. A really chunky knit sweater would also be really cute. I can see this being worn with a ton of things, but I did look this up and this style seemed to be doing really well. This also goes along with that uh, academia trend. So I will put that in the description as well for some keywords. Here's another free people item. This one is a size medium and this is another dress. This one is a really flowy, um, black floral print dress long sleeve but a mini it's got an open back with a tie neck um, again just picked up based off of style this retails for 108 dollars i will also look up the exact style name of on this and do comps i just did comps with similar styles and i thought this was perfect for spring this is a piece by lululemon and it has the rip tag, which normally doesn't happen. This is a size four. Um, I think I've already found the style for this when I was doing research, but this wasn't visible. But what you can do is look up Lululemon A6 and it should bring it up. Um, I basically just went on Google because I couldn't see that when purchasing it. And I just typed in Lululemon ruffle hoodie because this is kind of ruffled and ruched. And I found some really great comps. The Lululemon logo is right here. Can't remember how much these were going for, but I remember um, finding this exact style doing very well. Um, so I'll be happy to get this listed. Another great athletic wear piece. And last item of this haul is a brand sold at Anthropology. This piece was sold at Anthropology. This is Maeve. I do like selling this brand quite a bit. I tend to pick it up more than some of the other Anthropology brands. This is a one in size two, so a smaller size, but I also thought that this was very on trend for spring. In that trends video, we talked about a lot of floral prints and this is both floral print, it's midi, it's kind of got a peasanty um, style to it. It's fully buttoned down. And besides all that, it's got mix matched prints, which does extremely well. I pick up a lot of um, mix match prints like this. Um, it just goes along with that bohemian trend and that bohemian style, which everybody's looking for right now. So I will probably put um, mixed patch print dress and see how this does. But again, I thought this was really on trend and I will definitely look up the exact style of this one as well. All right, guys, that is the end of today's haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Drop a comment down below. Let me know how sourcing is going for you this week. Are you starting to pick up some more spring items? Hopefully you guys can tell from this haul that I am starting to transition towards spring, looking for different floral prints, really focusing on dresses and some more lightweight items. This is also my first time using the mic for the thrift haul where I'm moving around. So let me know how the sound is going on your end. Hopefully it's better. If so, I'll continue using the mic. But that is the end of today's thrift haul. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.